Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome on into the stream. Happy Sunday. I'm live a little earlier than I normally would be, uh, but the demo showcase I was doing yesterday took a little bit longer, so I thought if I started a little bit earlier, I also started like an hour late yesterday. I figured if I could start at like an hour earlier than my scheduled like 2 p.m. time, um, we could maybe spend more time with the demos, uh, maybe feel the flow a little bit more. Each of the last two parts were about three and a half hours, uh, which I think is fine. That's not a comment on it, but, you know, three and a half hours is one to, what, 4.30, and then take a break, and then that's 8.15, 8.30, somewhere in there, so we can uh, do all that good stuff. Um, hello, this is part number three of Xbox Demo Fest. Completed two parts yesterday, we're going to do one, uh, both parts today, because these demos cease to be available as of tomorrow. Not 100% sure how that works. I would assume if you download it, you're fine, but I didn't know for sure, and I didn't want to miss out on anything. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I also don't know exactly what time this stops, because um, if it stopped at like midnight in England, that's like 4 o'clock here. Anyway, better safe than sorry, we're going to just power through i believe there are well there are 17 in this part and that's what matters so we have 17 demos that we're going to look at today uh two important notes that i've made at uh, the beginning of each of the previous videos uh, there are two demos that i just could not find that did not exist and that affects this part as return one way trip was supposed to actually supposed to lead off um this portion of the thing you can see my pins there uh this portion of the boy you're really just getting rid of it huh you gotta mm, okay you, you gotta make it more visible it's just gone huh <clears throat> let's see browse games browse games um we'll take a quick peek here Mario's compatible top for you most play game demos play anywhere coming soon game fest I don't think it's going to be here, but we'll take a quick peek through. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So it should be I or R. One of them is I. The other one that isn't going to be played uh, is in the Valley of Death. So H Road Re Re Nope. These things, these games just do not exist in this. See how they all say owned. Alright, cool. So there are two demos. They don't exist. Um, so we won't be playing In the Valley of Death. And we will not be playing uh, Return One Way Trip. Hopefully this intro is cleaner in the next video. There are also two games that I'm just not playing. One of them is a game that is actually out today if you pre-ordered it. And that is uh, Destroy All Humans. That, ge that demo is like 8 gigabytes big. It's a remake of a game that's already existed for a long time. I just didn't really see the points. And then having such a big file size didn't make sense to download it for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then Welcome to Elk, which is a game that I am super sold on. And I just want to go into as blind as possible. It's a story-based game. You show up on an island and you, um, you listen to people tell stories. And it's based on stories that the creators have heard and all that good stuff. Sounds awesome. I'm, I'm in. I don't, I don't want to play any of it. Just want to go blind. So this is what we have. There's, there's a preview of Games Demo, Game Demo Fest Part 4. And there you go. But we're going to start out with Raji. An ancient, uh, ancient epic. I have, of course, I have my notebook here. I have my NCC1701-D. Uh, Star Trek notebook. I'll be keeping keeping tabs and keeping notes on all of this stuff. Um, they're usually just like one sentence little blurbs that I write out that uh, are quick to write, but also hopefully it'll like kind of jog my memory when I talk about this on a future episode of Week in Review. It was going to be this week, or this. It was going to be episode number one hundred and thirty-one, but there's a possibility that I just need a bunch of chips. Um, let's see. An ancient epic. So we'll go part three of Demo Fest. And this one is R. Oops. 
I, nope, J, I, N, A, N, oh boy, I, that's fine. Sometimes I get so used to texting that sometimes I look at my paper and I go, that'll autocorrect. All right. I'm going to press any button. The uh, other thing I would mention, one, for whatever reason, my voice is not thrilled today. But two, the game demo volume has been all over the place, so it'll be a... Uh... This is the heart of our story. Golu and Raji, brother and sister. I like this art style. Oh, I like this a lot. And this was their whole world. This one small carnival. The other performers were their friends, their only family. This was home. On that day before their performance, Raji took her brother aside. Did you forget, little brother? She asked him. And she tied a rakhi to his hand. For it was the feast of Rakshabandhan. Although it was a feast day, they still had coins to earn. So Raji walked on tight ropes and tumbled for the crowd. While Golu told his puppet tales of ancient times when demons walked the lands. A long, long time ago, a demon did penance. For showing such devotion, Brahma blessed him with immortality and a mighty weapon of all. Upon receiving, he united the demons to wage a war. Bhumi Devi urged him to stop. He killed her ruthlessly without thought. This angered Shiva greatly, and he stomped, dividing the continents. And the demons were forever lost. But as he spoke, the skies darkened, and the earth shook, and other figures dressed as demons strode through the crowd. These were not masks. This was not a child's tale. As the demons turned to slaughter, Raji tried to reach her brother. He'd been hurt and he was scared and she knew she must protect him. But in that moment, Raji failed, for the Garasura demons took Golu from her. Why would I don't want to skip this? I must have been because I bumped the yeah I, I bumped the joystick. Raji, bad. awake, my child. Oh, oh, okay. Golu. Uh, Golu. No. I'm so, so sorry, Pai. 
kind of bummed it's not in that other style. I, I just, I really, I think that's a much more unique and intriguing art direction. Like, it looks like someone is telling you a story. I, I love the cinematic. It looks really great. This kind of just looks like a general adventure game sort of thing. Like, side-scroller. Which isn't... That doesn't make it bad. I just... You've teased me with what could have been, and then... I don't have anything I can do. What this is your walk is? speed. Oh, there you go. Ooh, that's nice. She is so young. A child. Remember Shiva's words. It is so much weight shoulders of a mortal. Is this one strong enough? Time will tell. Is she barefoot? Is she doing all this barefoot? Crazy. You can't even walk into a driveway with barefoot. Still no jump? No nothing. Her brother and the happen? other children had been seized by the Garasura. I told her that she must be strong. Her journey would be difficult and full of unknowns. I blessed her with the Trishul, my most powerful weapon that Shiva had given to me. This, with Raji's own serenity and strength, would save her brother. I think this is an interesting game, but I don't think it's a very good demo. It, we've been playing for about nine minutes now, and it's been mostly cinematic. I understand you can skip it, but I do think that maybe advancing the story a little bit would be like, okay, you have your starting weapon, and you're looking for your brother. Find out more, you know, later. Might have might have helped a little bit. She walks boldly into a dark cave. She leaves chasms. She stands fearless before a goddess. That's cool. It shows you kind of how far you can drop without it being a problem. Don't get me wrong. I like this. I'm enjoying this. <gasps> Elephants. Ten out of ten. Best demo of the show. Sweet elephants. Yes. There is fire in her. Yes, it must be tempered. But without that fire, she would have already given up. Okay. Many mortals would not be brave enough to climb. Our oh, has interesting. No fear of heights. Watch. That's cool. I like I like this traversal. Oop 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 oop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For some reason, I lost my depth perception a little bit there. My bad. Whoa.
if there I wonder if there'll be like more like puzzle elements. Also this controls very well. I see clearly where I'm well, minus the depth perception. I saw clear I see clearly where I'm jumping. She is learning to think and to use the skills of her childhood. It is one thing. Oh, look at that sweet cartwheel. Hell yeah. Oh, so A is like a little bit of a dodge mechanic as well. To save her brother, Raji must face the demons. She held the Trishul, and it was a gift of great power. It was blessed by Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, and would help her stand against her terrible foe. But it was also a great responsibility. To wield it, she would need strength, courage, and belief. Have any of you seen my brother? The other part. Go, now, before they come back. So, so far, like, no combat yet. She will find a way. Oh, this vista looks really nice. Curious if there's any, any combat and what that's like. So we can go up here. Also go down here. Oh, look at that sweet boom! Why are you doing this? Golu. Oh, gotcha. I really like the way that's framed. Speed run mechanics. Hear your pulse. Okay, the here we go. Of the war drum. Feel your heart quicken. The strength flow through you. Fight, Raji. Be the warrior. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, bam, bam, bam. Oh, okay. It's like a third one. Okay. A good dodge roll. Oh, I like the. The displays of health, that's pretty cool. Alright. I'm, I'm glad I played just a little bit more. This door is weaker than the other, and the Trishul is a most versatile weapon. Oh, that's cool. So then A, Y, A, Y, A, Y. Oh, that makes this Okay, we're okay, all right. I like this a lot. 
Okay. Oh, back up. There's really good control as well with the, uh, like, you can jump and, and, like, cancel out, like, really nicely, because I jumped in too far into that one, and it was, yeah, this is great. I was able to jump out and correct my mistake. Alright. Oh, okay. So they specifically. Oops. Okay. But I love the health displays at the bottom. That looks really good. A little bit of like a kind of a glory kill thing there. All right. Watch this. Oh ho ho ho! She's a circus performer, Araji. See what she can do. Okay. This was this was a good demo to keep playing. Oop, 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 oop. That's all right. Cool. Oh. Well, this game is just full of surprises, aren't they? Holy cow, this is gr oh, this is so good. That pauses the enemies, it looks like, maybe. That, like, does, like, a stun? Oh, my God. Fruits of a demon kill. Its power will heal your wounds. Okay, sweet. That's great. That's that's awesome. So let's see. It's kind of a like a action combat game. I don't know exactly what you would like qualify it as. This was awesome. It got better. Um better the more I played. It's super I love the mechanics. Uh the Yeah, that one that one probably is a little well, I guess it's only like fourteen minutes, but I don't know, that's not how much time we'll spend on all of them, but that's alright. Alright, deliver, deleveled, excuse me. I do think that the art style is, it's like a quantum, oh, I already played a game from them. Quantum astrophysics. Yep, that's me. Okay. Oh, okay. A little puzzle game.
Hang on. So you gotta... Whoops. God dang it. I wanna move. I wanna move faster. Okay. I like that it brings up B when it's like, you have not done what you need to do. Okay, that's fine. I, I get it. I, I, I get that. It's a puzzle platformer. It's fine. It's like, it's, it's fine. Not, I mean, it's not necessarily for me. Like, I understand what you're trying to do. Cool. Uh, it's just... Yeah. I, I don't even know where to go with that. Alright. So then we'll go ahead and just move on to Lost Wing. As I crack a do here. Box Frog. Lost Wing. I think we want to play that in Italiano. I think. Boom, 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 boom. Also, the, uh, <clears throat> As of the recording of this video, the first part of Demo Fest is up, and one of the developers commented on the video and was like, "Hey, thanks for thanks for supporting or thanks for showing uh, Yes Tomorrow by the full version." Is this out now? I'm scared to hit this button. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, this is this is fine to show. I didn't want to like give any accidental information away. Uh, this is out this week, July twenty eighth. All right, hold on, hang on. Back. So start options rankings. Start. Uh, tutorial. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll do that. Tutorial ship. We'll go green. We'll go green. We'll go green. There we go. Oh, most of these I think are locked. Yeah, two, three, six, seven, ten, eleven. All right. Left. Accelerate time slow. Fire smart bomb. Welcome to the tutorial. Steer your ship left and right towards the markers. Oh, you want to be to jump. You didn't specify that. Thanks, though. Uh, I like the UI being just on the sides. RT. What? Hold down time slow while it's moving. Also get charged with picking up orbs, build a combo, picking these uh, up before the combo bar runs out. Alright. 
tool. Oh, okay, it all costs charge. Interesting. Sounds are not great. That is like digging into my ears. Anybody continue? It's like flashing in front of my face. Okay, start. Campaign. Escape the in, uh, industrial complex and defeat its overlord. H4-ND51. Difficulty. Medium. Oh, you have to... Oh, interesting. You have to get to a specific level for that. Sounds are not good. My god, that was a mistake. That was that was a mistake. That's probably why it was red. I don't know what that means. There's a star there. Whoops. There we go. Charge 99. What is what's my Do I have to jump there? Is this a bridge? Okay. Oh. Was that it? Oh. Do you have like a number of lives? What's going on here? Oh, 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 you do, because there's two. Gotcha. Oh, jeez. Uh, there was something that flashed on the bottom, but I didn't see what it was. So I've lost my right wing, which means that it's harder to push to the right. Okay. Ah. There we go. Now we're feeling good. Now we're feeling good. I immediately lost that. Give me, give me a wing. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Why did I do that? This is the wrong way to go. That's the wrong time to try and look outside. Someone shredding with their skateboard. Okay, so then you just... Whoops. Game over. Easy. XP 341,000. Oh, okay, so the points are your score. Okay, that's fine. I just... Okay. Okay, that's... I don't... Is that like an endless runner sort of thing, or...? 
Lost Wing, kind of F-Zero-y. F-Zero-y Endless Runner. I don't, I don't know. Didn't didn't impress me. I mean, and it had an awful, just screeching sound, which is always good. Always good. Uh, back to belt is our next demo here. Press X button. Forty years since. Okay, alien invasion took all our diamonds. It's time to back to belt. I don't uh free to play. Okay. It's a very quiet game. Aim 14%, I got 420 points for that. For some reason this game likes likes having X as its confirm button. Okay. I feel like this is a hard game to look at. I like the colors. Hello? I died. I died instead of hitting it. Is that it? Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's that's fine. 
It's a super retro 80s art style. I will make sure to lower this volume just a little bit. Super 80s art style didn't really grab me. That's two ship-based games we've had back-to-back. -back. So next we'll move on to Tesla Force. Cool piece of key art. I'll, I'll admit that. I lowered the volume on the stream, thank god, but I did not lower the volume in my headphones. This game, I dropped by 10 decibels and is still way too loud. Okay. Tesla Force. I forgot what I was doing. What a storm. Perfect time for a little experiment. Whoa. The bridge is out. I must continue by foot then. I wonder what broke that bridge. Good thing I brought my teleport back with me. Backpack with me? I don't even know what that said. Press A to continue. Oh. It's a kind of twin stick shooter sort of thing. Can I jump? Oh. Oh, wow. They never believed me, but I knew it would work. My visions of future have become reality. Warning Cliff goes online. Why did they put that? Okay. Finally, the man, uh, the man, finally the mankind will break the chain of, uh, restraint and soar free into the future. Violent shakes. Wait, what was that? An earthquake? Tesla, you must shut down the wire. Warden Cliff Tower immediately. Madame Curie? How? What? Why? It's not the uh, aether energy you are harvesting. It's radiation from the micro black holes. It's causing massive ripples across quantum space and drawing some un unwanted attention from the old ones. Oh no. Not that nonsense again. This is all perfectly safe. Now please stand back. Portal opens. It's weird th to see that in a video game. Well, asterisks, because that's like what what you send to like people, like checks notes, like that sort of thing. Takes off pants. Um, there they are. Fend off the monsters. Will I deactivate the tower? We can talk about theoretical physics afterward. We most certainly will. Twin stick shooters. Not my. Alright. Nova. Alright. Oh. Ah. Talk to Curie. I don't know what that means. Oh, is that her? I Did I accidentally shoot at her? Whoops. There, that should do it. Good job with those monsters. That was intense. The only way to shut down the, the cliff is to destroy the time scope. Oh, God. You should hurry before any more of those monsters get through. It's a sad thing destroy, to destroy, but I'll do what I must. Yo 
weeks. Well, what was that? It's heading for Arkham. Arkham Asylum, wow. Take your war pigeon and follow it. I'll stay here and try to figure out what has happened. Will do, take care. Take that. Uh, collect four mech parts. Okay. Uh, mech parts found. Oh, I guess I can move my camera. They only last a moment. Okay. It just activates on its own. Can't go that way. Alright. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Twin stick shooter's not my... Typically not my jam. I don't necessarily have anything against them. It's just... Okay. I'm bashing the B button. Oh, well, good. I'm glad that that... Like I have infinite ammo in the shotgun, which is nice. Uh, oh. There's not like any. Oh boy. Um. Okay. I don't know what you want me to do here, game. You're giving me all this stuff to like look at two three so is it just kind of just survive i like the uh, red outline that up. Crystal found. Purchase upgrades. Um. Where's the... Oh, here we go. Oh, there's like a whole other area over here. 
You know what I'm not using? Is my dash ability. Okay. Okay. So I guess this is a historical twin stick shooter. I walked right into a new. I can't tell if that's a good thing or not. Where is this other item? What? Where is it? Oh. Two. Three. Four. Ion crystal. Okay, that's it's fine. I got you. I see what you're doing. Gain a reward. Gain an extra teleport activation. Bullets will poison enemies and they take damage over time. Poison bullets. Curious about this upgrade. Ah, there we go. I feel like that's very helpful for someone like me. is like the very definition of like just like mindless fun it, it's fine I, I don't I don't dislike it twin stick shooters aren't my like favorite genre I do like the um, consistency with the mech stuff so you can just kind of dance around the mech is satisfying to use. Oops. It's just unbelievably overpowered. Okay, cool. Uh, historical based. That's historical based sounds like a fact. It's not. But... Uh, nine, 1916 based historical shooter. Uh, mindless fun. All right, Mayhem Brawler. This one has cool key art as well. Nice color scheme. Any button to continue. Campaign. I guess we just get we get officer. This one might actually be a little quiet. Oh, I can only be this boring dude? Oh. I wanted to be Star Stronghold. Or Dolphin Stronghold. Oh wait. Grace Gardner. I read that all wrong. Telekinetic? Ugh. 
All right. Cutscene under development. All right. I appreciate their commitment to the comic book style. Oh, okay, so I didn't realize you were waiting on me. Looks cool. I don't know how much of a. I'm just not that big of a fan of. Uh, beat em up games like this. Good job of like I feel like I know where I'm hitting. Ow. That's good. That's a lot. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Ow. I don't know how I feel about having the double double tap. Seems like it's just going to cause problems because it doesn't like read it. Like I'm hitting it twice. Ouch. But it's not. Ouch. It's kind of the kind of the Minecraft conundrum, weirdly enough. I definitely hit it twice that time. The game did not register what I was trying to do. Ouch. Oh, and then it stops you. Okay. All right. That's would have been helpful to be able to, you know, carry that in. Okay. Can't even change character because the other two are under development. Okay. That's, uh... I like the art style and commitment to the comic books comic book vibe, but not for me.
it's interesting because this is that game is almost exactly why I don't play but exactly why I don't play beat em ups Okay, next, what do we have here? Something that's hard to read. Curved space. Okay, we feel, I feel like I'm kind of just breezing through these. Actually, no, I'm just doing what I was gonna do initially, which was about 10 minutes per demo and just kind of clip through them at a good pace. All right, curved space. We got a lot of uh, a lot of space games in this part. Unintentional. I keep forgetting to mention at the beginning. Basically, what happens is I took the initial list of games, shuffled it about ten times, and then divided it out so it's pretty even across all the all the different parts. One of them, this one, I think was supposed to have nineteen games, and then the other was had eighteen, and then this one had two that were missing. So, all right. Daily Run soundtrack. This is kind of a cool, it's a neat little feature. I like the way that's visualized. Oh. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, but it doesn't interrupt it when you do it? Oh, that's awesome. We used to harvest energy. <laughs> But this attracted spiders. Oh, is that like an enemy thing? Now we harvest spiders. I don't understand what's happening here. I'm very confused. Oh. Practice time. Let's blast some holograms. Oh boy. Oh. Where's the weapon? Oh, there it is. All right, burn baby mover. The bear up there. Interesting. Good old flamey. Uh, two slots, but sometimes bullets are more useful. That's why. I feel like this game is very hard to watch. Even, I'm, like, it's even disorienting to me, and I'm playing it, and I know what I'm trying to do. The game doesn't let you push up enough. I wish you could have a more sustained, like, this camera. Alright. I feel like it's hard to see this game. Oh, jeez. I don't know what this is. Oh, shotgun. Shotguns. Our oh, shotgun is good for this. I 
feel like it's good for, especially for like the smaller ones. I mean, this is definitely, definitely not a game for me. Is that it? It's a, okay, this game has great music, difficult visuals. It's like they need me over at the strip. Overdrive, charge up with energy. Oh. Okay. How do I do that? Holy shit. It's just so hard to see. Where are the targets? Good sound design. Feels like it's clear and easy to tell when you've hit enemies, depending on the sound that they make. Only the pure spider. I don't know what that means. Destroy only the pure spider. Cool. You want to point me in the direction of where that is there? 69,000 points, by the way. What are you, like a spider flower? What is happening? Stop it. God, this music is solid. Hello, can you stop doing that? Hello? Centipede sucks. Alright. 
Is that it? Oh, got a lightning beam. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yeah, it's just, it's too hard to see and tell what's going on. And, like, it's fine. I The upgrade loop is cool, but... Uh... Akuniko? Akunika? Okunaka... Oh, boy. Something madness. Oh. Okay. U-N-O. Akunoka. Akunoka? There we go. Akunoka. Madness. A word that I've written many times in my life. That's a message from the team. Welcome to the demo. Special crafted compilation including six of the plus 100 levels. Uh, one of the four boss fights you will find in the complete version. Alright, let's see what this is. Wait, did I just fart that out? Just like this, and then... Yep, yep, you fart that out. has a good momentum to it. Stop. Just stop. Stop making that noise. It's so annoying. Okay. Uh, this is very quickly turning into a game that is not for me. It has good momentum if you can wrangle it. If not, it's a little, a little slidey. Oh, 
four. What? What? What the hell? I don't even know what happened there. Uh, I just didn't even change it there. Yeah, okay, cool. Game. This is like a pixel perfect one, huh? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, yep, I get it. You're a tough platformer. Feels like a tough platformer. E-E-L-S. Uh, and it has good momentum. If you can grasp it. Control it. If you can control it. It can be a little, a little slip slidey. Um, and I don't know that the, um, I don't know that the grip is as consistent as it should be. But that's fine. It's a game that's not really for me, which has been actually quite a few of them in this in this part. Uh, started strong with uh, Raji. That one's great. Ever since then, it's been. Ooh. A whole lot, a whole lot of nothing, honestly. Momentous. Mo. Men. Tus. All right. See if we can get some, something to grab us. I'm a little, I'm a little, I was a little worried that the top half of it was going to be the good half. A little, little top heavy. Welcome to I like the vocals. Turn it down just a smidge. Schemes have been loud. Well, wait, is that... Endless. Okay, that's all I can do. Alright, we're fine. Welcome to Momentous. Don't you think you should learn how to play? Yeah? Oh. Oh. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Mathed in correctly. Ooh, that's not. Hold on. Hang on. Bam. Exactly. Bam. Bam. Perfect. Okay. 
I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> No control. Based on angles. Okay. Daddy Ace. Nope, Dandy Ace. Is that what I'm thinking about here? Look at this fucking sweet art. Dandy Ace. D A N D Y. Why? He could even make his children cry with joy. His name was Lele, the green eyed illusionist. But sadly, one day everything was stolen from him by a fake magician, a, a charlatan. He goes by the name of Dandy Ace. With his mediocre performances and handsome looks. Ace, and I really don't know why, became the most loved of all magicians. Crushed by the unjust reality of his relentless destiny, Lele had no choice but to resort to the infamous Cursed Mirror. You have the power to create a whole new world, but for the price of your soul, the mirror said. I understand. I'm yours. Now, behold the greatest magic trick of all time and so out of nowhere when no one was expecting Lele imprisoned his longtime arch enemy in the blink of an eye ace was gone trapped inside the cursed mirror <laughs> as we progress through the palace low tier cards will get obsolete but don't worry you will constantly find new cards oh okay I didn't know what that was I don't know what this is, so. New run. Oh, thank God. I was very worried it was going to break there. Okay, uh, a card can have more than one upgrade effect depending on the color of the upgraded card. So this looks like a run-based game. Well, if it isn't Dandy Ace, the best magician of all times. Late, the... Late, the green-eyed illusionist finally at you. Who could imagine that? I mean, he would create the ever-changing palace only to defeat you. But fear not. When he pulled you inside the cursed mirror, uh, your magical cards came with you. Use them wisely, and good luck. Uh, Ace dashes forward. There's five magical cards. Oh god. There is, by the way, there's a lot happening on screen here. So we have blue diamonds and gold coins. Uh, health in the bottom, maybe? A timer and a map in the bottom right. Dash this forward. Five magical cards. Shoots a comma that explodes a large area. These ha each have little blurbs about them. Uh, buff Ace's speed increases by 50%. Wild cards on hanging enemy. It spawns five cards to damage nearby enemies. Uh, charges d determines the number of activations the skill has before entering a cool, entering on cooldown. Each each charge enters on cooldown separately. Uh, death charm debuff when an affected enemy dies it spreads charm to nearby enemies uh, CC 
Charmed enemies move towards ace and can't attack. Um, we'll go with this one, I guess. Oh, you can just pick all of them. Oh, okay. button? Dodge button? Oh, X, I guess, would be card-based. Okay. Two active portals to teleport. Okay. There's a cupcake. Ouch. Ouch. I really need to remember to turn those. Oh, that guy's not dead? God dang it, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button again. All right. Going well so far. Okay. Club's key to pass. All right. Time three minutes. Okay, so I, I think the first thing that I can improve is putting dash on A and then making X the like primary attack one. This is kind of cool. I don't know if I'd be any good at it, but it's interesting. I guess I'd be curious if these are the same. Hello again. Surprised, aren't you? Leaving this palace won't be easy. The only thing, uh, the only way out is to reach the throne room and defeat the mighty Lili. Remember, death is uh, not an option. Every time you are defeated, Lili will bring you back here. All right. All right. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, this one's a little different. All right. Okay, so these are different. Bubble Trouble Tier 1. Ace shoots a big bubble. The longer he holds the shot, the faster it moves. Bubble Trouble also uh, always spawns Bubble Cluster. Alright. Bubble Cluster on an, hitting an enemy, it spawns a cluster of explosive bubbles. The longer Ace holds the activation, the stronger it gets. Alright. Okay. All right. 
Uh, add stun to yellow and blue cards. Dazzling display. Ace casts a brighter cone of dazzling light. Stun three seconds. So the stunned enemies can't attack or move. Stunned enemies take more damage from Ace's skill. One involves I All right. Whoops. Okay, getting better. I mean, already it's seems like I've, I'm understanding the mechanics. I know what I'm looking for with the enemies. Get a random magical card. Uh, jump scare. Ace blinks forward, scaring enemies far away. Fear 1.5 seconds. All right. Whoops. Teleport. Ooh. All right. Blueprint fireworks. Okay. Whoops. So I guess you can dash through some enemies. Oh. Okay, there we go. Ouch. Oh, I'm not gonna make it much farther than I did last time. Though I'll argue I understand it better. up a little bit quicker than I was anticipating. There we go. Alright. Here we go. This is where I got two last time. Whoops. So I guess if you can dash in. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. Boom. Boom. Wow. Blueprint, binding chains, titan punch. Ace attacks with giant punches. The second punch stuns the enemies. The third punch also stuns and deals more damage. Uh, vulnerable enemies take 30% more damage. Stunned enemies can't move or attack. Oh. So wait, I can stack cards on? Oh my god. Uh, is that a good thing to do? Okay, all right. This one's a little bit, oops, a little harder. This one, I like, you have to, I have to make sure that I'm really distanced from him. That's fine.
Can I really go here? Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I kind of... Okay, so then this one has an upgrade effect. Add sun to yellow and blue. Hold on. Ah, okay. Probably... cool I, I like this so this is a card based roguelike I, I enjoyed it was good uh, shards lost seven blueprints lost five minutes defeated by a cuckoo nightmare you just restart and call it good. All right. There you go. Um, oh, what I need to do is drop this volume considerably. I had to go way up there. Dandy Ace. Pretty cool. I liked it. It's the second, like, roguelike. Roguelite or roguelite. Roguelite. Whatever it is. Darkestville Castle uh, that I've played and I've actually enjoyed. Wow. I'm... Alright. Darkestville Castle. What's cat mode? Epic Llama. Darksville Town was a calm and warm place. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. The townspeople saw this and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid. With a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed... That was a real rest. stretch to get that thing to rhyme. But his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain. The problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Oh. 
No. That could be me. That easily could be Shaunasaurus Rex. Is that it? So it's supposed to be like a short cartoon? <laughs> Alright, hang on, we gotta start a new game here. Uh so this is uh this is cat mode. Is this a point and click adventure? Oh my god, it's a point and click adventure game. Hang on. Gotta go to the main menu. We gotta, gotta restart this. Play. Go ahead and delete that. Normal. I don't know what I expected from cat mode, but it wasn't that. We'll skip that movie, because it wasn't in cat mode. Another wonderful night to be a demon. Isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Let's see. Uh, here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Heymanson's daughter and cut her braid. Check. Already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. Alright, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid. Your nights of evilness are over. What's that? Sounds like Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over. For realsies. There's no escape from this one. None of your tricks will save you. No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town. Yep, that's Dan. I'd better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up. Prelude. Old enemies. Or meow, meow, meow. All right. Nothing in the chest. All right. Good. Good to know. Look at night sky. Grab night sky. Talk. I'm not the kind of guy who talks to the moon. A wonderful night to be evil. I can almost touch the sky is a metaphor. My horn can pierce the sky. I can't talk to that. He's my best friend, Mr. Buttons. He's very silent today. Sometimes he gets grumpy. Hey, Mr. Buttons, wanna chat? What? You're not in the mood? He's not in the mood. Okay. I can't talk to that. Didn't you just talk to it, though? The lid is screwed to the clock. I can't open it with my bare hands. It's my nightstand. 
with a drawer full of evil plans. And my diary, also full of evil plans. Mirror, wardrobe, bathroom door. Wait, don't go to the kitchen door. It's my lovely fish, Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks, like act like a fish or splash, but usually it's super ineffective. Oh, boom, hilarious. It's like Pokemon. Look at bicycle. It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. Oh, was, oh okay. So how do I get this guy to... Go away. Go to the kitchen door, I guess. It's the door that leads to my kitchen. The door is closed. I locked a giant rat inside. Um, okay. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions. He's inside his tank. Hi, Domingo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Domingo? You are. Yeah, you're a good boy. To the yard? Is that where I want to go? I don't know. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. I should talk to him. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Did you notice that you were blocking the entrance to my castle? It's been a while past your bedtime, Danny boy. How many times have we been through this? Actually, I can move this to the other side. Why don't you go away? I have some diabolical schemes to follow. I feel like that's just going to make it worse. Leave this place before I hurt you in big and uh, hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I am the relentless protector of Darkest Bill. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? Oh, Wednesday. Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. 147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Lady Danina and I are not the same person. She is a long lost, charming, absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. Exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deeds. Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Heh, <laughs> forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh uh. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. Huh. Do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. Give me the basement key. No. Oh, come on, open that door. No, -uh. no way. Tonight your villainous legacy ends. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. Hey, that was my key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mechs I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Do you have the missing part of the trap door mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. What is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. Do you have the missing part of the trap? I will not fall. What is your plan? Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. Okay. Uh, so now we should be able to go... 
down here. The basement door is locked. But we can use this key. Whoops. Oh man, rip Waldo the skeleton. Hey, I found Waldo. And he is dead. <laughs> Old wardrobe, papers in a box. Oh, he. It's the key for my bathroom. How did this end up here? Uh, go ahead and grab that. I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. Yeah, whatever would you do? It's too heavy to carry around. Hidden lever? This will drop an anvil onto the unsuspecting prisoner. Isn't that fun? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. here we go, here we go. Uh, look at it. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Oh, but we should be able to go get some stuff from the bike, maybe? I like this. Uh, I would love to terrorize the town as the demon bike rider again, but this bicycle is beyond repair. Hey, dum dum. It's broken. But you can get the chain. Look, there's a chain I here. Can't talk to that. To the inventory you go. Bicycle. What it? Bicycle horn. It screwed to the bicycle. Oh, my bad. So the horn. All right. So can we do anything with that? There used to be a sandwich inside. It's empty. I think Dan stole my sandwich. Jackass. Box stuff? Old evil plans and research about a variety of things is inside those boxes alongside my old toys. I don't want to unbox all that stuff. chain fits, but it's going to need some lubricant. It's way too rusty as is. Now we gotta go to his sex drawer. Find a... Find some lubricant. Uh, probably... Honestly... Honestly, like, in the bathroom. Right? Kitchen's locked. To the bedroom. Bathtub, towel. The true frozen throne. It's a treasure chest, and it contains the treasure of storing dirty clothes in an organized way. It's glued shut, and I can't pry it open. Maybe if I had some kind of abrasive substance or another. What is happening? It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. I'd prefer to keep my hands clean. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. Um. Yeah, this is a very old-school point-and-click adventure puzzle game.
I like the art style. That's some good writing. Funny little quips. Liked it. I liked it. Makes me more excited to play something dumb like uh, this wonderful game for the Sega Dreamcast called Stupid Invaders. To which I will get to like Puzzle 2 and go, you know what, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Next up, Cake Bash. High tea frog, coat sink. I like the, I like this dancing loading screen. Hello, looks like this is your first party. Would you like to learn the basics with a quick tutorial? Sure. This is where we learn how to cake bash. Up to three friends can join at any time. Just press A to quit. Uh, press start and have fun. Oh, there's a little thing on the bottom. Okay, that's cool. Little dash action. Oh my god. Can you play this just like by yourself? Oh, you can add bots. That's excellent. Oh wait, hold on. Ooh, I can be a little ah, oh, you little strawberry donut. Noise. Unavailable in demo version. Uh, cake with the most sweet wins. Avoid cutlery on a shrinking cake. All right. Wait, we. I, I have. I have time to try all these. Sweet victory. Cake with the most sweeties wins. Bakery. We'll go with the bakery. Stick sweets to your cake by walking over them. Press X to knock sweets off. All right. Get out of here. Give me them sweets. What is... Where's me? Where's me? Where's me? Where's me? Oh, oh, oh! Gross, gross! Ow! Ow! It's a little, it's a little cluttered. No one's even close. Help. Oh, I got obliterated. Where am I? Okay. Give me 
gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. How dare you. Ow, I got hit. So I guess it's just whoever's closest. Can I slide outside? No. Give me some of this. Some of this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that bot is trying to get me. Oh, shit, ow. Six. Oh, no, that was a bad time to do it. I might lose because of it. Yeah, I'm going to finish second, maybe. Okay. Uh, tasty content available in the full game. More games. Loads of more modes and mini games. Play with friends or try matchmaking online. Get tasty. Buy toppings to impress the customer. Uh, flavors, amazing new looks to unlock uh, unlock for every cake. Okay. Throw the most fruit into the pie. So it's just a it's a super cutesy party game. Thanks for putting in box. Had a, we've had a party game or two where it's just me playing with myself. So. And I don't think you can do that on Twitch. So. <laughs> oh, nailed it. Alright. Throw the most fruit into the pie. <sighs> so. Oh, oh, okay. So the berries are worth one, the gold is worth ten. Oh my god, there's a bird pooping. I am... No, 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 no. Okay. Look out! One. Ooh! Ow! Ow! Oh, oh, there's just a bird here. Somebody, oh my goodness, somebody got the gold and I didn't, even, I didn't even see it. I was just in the wrong spot. Look out, pigeon! Where's my thing? <laughs> oh, stop, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I have a two, I have a lead of two right now. Ow! Very convenient. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't give it to him. Oop, you can't throw it very far. No! Oop. Ah, there we go. Actually, might be a strategy to like just hold off. Oop, oop, oop. Nope, don't hit me! I'll hit you though. Ow! My beautiful face. Hey, I won. I got you. I know what's in the full game. I read it. Avoid cutlery on a shrinking cake. Toast the tastiest marshmallows. And these, oh, it's a good thing I did the patio. Okay. Oh, you don't have any of the attacks. Oh, rip! Oh my, oh my god! The forks! Oh, 
Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> There's something just shockingly violent about that. Alright, let's try the last game mode. This is really good. This is really good. And as long as you can do this and like... I like that you can do it with the bots and if you can earn achievements with bots. Hold down to cook. Press A when you think it's toasted. Whoops. 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 I have a marshmallow on my butt now. 85. This is a cute little mini game. 84. Oh, 60. I was a little, a little early on that one. Oh, oh, that was a huge fire. Big old flare up there. That's what I'm not doing as well at. 76, okay. Ooh, 11, that one. Not good. Too impatient that time around. Ah! Oh boy, I'm gonna... There we go. Oh, there was 100. 100 gives me second place. Okay. Cool. That is, uh, that is very cute and very fun. Very fun. Except for when the knife comes screaming through and stabs a muffin right in the gut and you're like, Oh, you gonna, you gonna be okay, buddy? Um, here we go. Flowing lights. Next up here on the stream. It's like little octopuses up there. Octopi. What is this? Flowing lights. Flowing lights. Oh. Let's go. F L O W I N G F Y G H T S. Welcome to the Flowing Lights beta demo. Please note that the game is in beta and still being developed. Some Xbox features might not function correctly with this title. Some gameplay features might not function correctly or even crash. Support is limited. Enjoy. Thank, thank you. One, one demo level. LB or RB to boost. Alright. Zone 1, gun, everything. One hit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, this one is giving me the trouble. There we go.
There we go. Ooh, I fell just right into it, huh? Oh, drove right into that one. Shotgun, keep. Oh. Okay. Uh, no need to pull. Can move your ship to aim. Come on. Well, that's not going to work. All right. Slingshot. When aiming. Oh, there we go. Oh, that didn't work. Kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, whoops. There we go. Kill a group, a group of mobile enemies before the time ends. Combo. Combos and power ups. Combos give power ups. Alright. Ooh, combo. Shit.
Come on. Come on. No. No. There we go. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom. Is that it? Just a one level. All right. Thanks for playing. Prepare for more satisfaction from challenging. From challenging victories. Prepare for smart challenges that keep things fresh. Prepare for 180 plus fresh levels with three, three achievement ranks. Oh boy. All right. Cool. This that was a good demo. Um, it's not like a, it's not a twin stick shooter, but like arcade shooter. With uh, gravity mechanics. That was a, that was a really good demo. I was engaged and interested the whole time. I I don't know. I, like I don't know if I'll ever play the game or whatever, but. I at least like I played through the whole demo and I was never frustrated or irritated. I understood and saw exactly what they were doing and yeah, hard to argue hard to argue that. All right, Chicken's Madness. That's up next. We are clipping through these demos. Exclamation point. Not a single chicken, chick, or even egg were harmed in the... Okay. Party on couch. Party warty. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have a, a controller right here. We're good. Set on now. 30 year old man plays with himself live on the internet. How do I? Hello? I guess. Okay. What? Why? Hello? Join? Choose a profile. Everybody, I, hmm, why is this, I'm one person, there we go, god, okay, this one is the primary account, I guess. Fumbop! So we have run, attack, jump, and move. Oh. This honestly, this looks like a game that was made in dreams. Whoop! Ah, oh, I missed. I missed it. Both. What's wrong with the audio? Why is this zooming out so far? 
four. Oh, okay. Alright, it's the second soccer based game I've played against myself today. Or this in the demo fest. Hoop one time! One time! Oh, I missed. I missed. Uh, come on back. Hold on. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Don't score an own goal, you absolute moron. Yep. What? Boom. There we go. Oh, I, did I really score twice? It absolutely gave me a credit for that second goal. Hold on. Hold on. So there's soccer. It's fine. The ball moves real fast. It's not mine. Well, if you, well, if you like it, keep it. But it's hot potato. That is better if you get rid of it. With the last clock tick, whoever, whoever go that bomb will be vanished. Whoever go that bomb. All right. <laughs> What doesn't make sense is why this audio is so blown out. It is the weirdest thing. I can imagine this would be fun with two players. It is weird that you have to push X on it. Huh. Seems like a thing where you would want to just bump into someone. Games are short enough. Hey, baby. Let's go together. Oh, just the one. Okay. Fist gunners. Try to knock everyone else off the ring. Last chicken stands wins. Keep in mind the far, the far the distance, the higher the impact. <laughs> I do like that, like ending little. Catch the crown. You have it. Claim it. Okay, so it's just the opposite. Oh, interesting. I was just going to stand up on this thing of crates. No, 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 no. Oh, man. man all these crates are falling down. Kind of weird, running into the crates like kind of bounces you back. So if I'm this character, what do I do? How do I get the thing? Oh, you kick it. Kick that chicken in his butt. Oh my gosh, we're all tied up. Oh wait, you get oh. You just get it at the end. Wearing skates is fun. Chicken on a chicken on skates is more fun. Skiing. Wearing skates is it. Skiing itself is triple fun. Not half yeah what? Skiing itself is triple that fun. Not easy, but not too hard. 
Drift, ski, and jump hit others and try to stand in the arena alone to win. Wait. See ya! I win. My elbow. There's that. Now we need to figure out which controller assigned it on which profile. Ugh. <clears throat> yeah, the sign-in was a little more complicated than I anticipated it would be, but I think it's just because I don't have two def like defined profiles on this console. I just have myself. So I think So we'll unplug that. Hopefully that'll make it better. Uh, am I not signed in? Yeah. Let me be me, please. All right. There we go. Chicken's Madness. Had a, there were a few like party game games, <clears throat> party games, party game games that are on this one. All right, three more: Doodle City, Crime, Doodle God, Crime City. Uh, this I believe has a couple other entries. Which means I <clears throat> maybe shouldn't be worrying about it, but that's okay. Don't hold on. Oh, please. You absolute fuck. What do you need for a good and interesting detective story? At least four, okay. A crime, okay. Person, wallet, metal bar. What do you get when you put all the elements together? That's right, you got a real crime ad or detective adventure. Go here to create new elements. use a hint. Excellent. Okay. I'm, it's not even that warm in here. Is 
So this is like a puzzle game? Wow. How did you get Alright. New mission available. How exciting. I I'm not doing anything. This game is just telling me what to do. You never lose a game, you either win or learn. This looks like a mobile game. Also, I don't understand why all of the affirmative, like the, like, uh, Uh, what? What is happening? I don't even know what this, this is. Like a puzzle game, I guess. happening I don't like this Just move on I that is dumb I didn't <laughs> the last cube we'll just write WTF next to that one I think the only thing I know about the like Doodle God games is that they are very easy to complete uh, as far as like Xbox achievements are concerned because you just make a bunch of combinations to get all the achievements or something. I don't know. The last cube. Demo level. something about these this loading screen that's very like entrancing entrancing enough to make me hiccup I don't... what? Oh. Uh.
really struggle. I struggle with like cube puzzles. What? Please? Oh, it's like giving you the path. Okay. Oh, this is annoying. There we go. Okay, so then I can... Oh, for the love of God. That's not what I want at all. Ah! Uh. Why, why would you do that? <sighs> Just, I want to slide through here. Okay, it is a cube based puzzle game. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. And last but not least, Dungeon Scavenger. Dungeon Scavenger Inferno. Boy, this looks very basic. You will be able to explore floor 1 and up to level 10. Uh, the final stop at the end of the world. This is why they should... This is... Oh, this is what they should call this place. After many months, you arrive to this desolate town next to a hell... Uh, hell spawned hole. You make your way to the small outpost where other outcasts try to survive and make a living from the strange dungeon. The dungeon changes every night, and many adventures have been lost forever while down there. The local lord is paying a fortune to whoever closes this dungeon. Nobody has done it yet, so here you are. Um, easy, normal, hard, impossible. Just go here, I guess. Oh, I can't do anything. But oh, look at this! <gasps> He's got a little tiger friend.
class. I'm bored just looking at this. Main quest. Approach whoever rules this forsaken place. How can I... Wait, is this just like a text-based adventure? What the hell is this? Here, I'll move my camera. It just like seems like somebody made this with like clip art in $20. Main quest, how can I be of service? Although, while we have profited from scavenging this hellhole of in the middle of town for so long and it's becoming very dangerous to my city. I haven't trusted Captain Harem. Who boy. Hmm, I will try. Is there... Oh dear God in heaven. What in the f, f is this? Welcome to town. Here you can... Uh, you can rest here between each dungeon trip. Before we go scavenging in the dungeon, we are going to need to buy some items. Press the glowing buttons on your left. Potions. Okay. Equipment shop. Back. Dungeon. Dungeon entrance. Tutorial, welcome to the dungeon. Oh dear god. Uh. Okay. What in the he- what is this? Oh my god. Is, is that it? Rest. Continue. Rest. So move and then the cursor. Dear God. Okay, this is a text adventure. Uh, I'm good. There's way too much information on the screen. Dear Jesus, God in heaven, no. I, there is way too much information on that screen. Uh, and that means we end on kind of a bummer. Uh, this one seemed to burn through pretty quick. This is like 45 to 50 minutes shorter than the last couple parts have been. Um, let's quickly, we'll run through uh, some of the positives here. Um, yeah. Uh, Rajai? Rajai? Raji? An Ancient Epic, which was the first game that we played, was awesome. I played that for about 15 minutes. Uh, I'm glad that I played as much as I did because um, I liked it the more that I played it, the more they kept introducing the mechanics. I can move my camera back to a normal spot. Uh, the more mechanics they, mechanics they introduced were great. I loved the combat system. Um, the traversal was interesting. It looked really cool. Um, I was a little bummed at the beginning because it was like, oh, here's this really cool cutscene and this very unique, interesting art style. And then it just kind of looks like a regular, like... Oh, what's the remaster? Bionic? No. 
Planet Commando? That's not what I'm thinking of. God dang it. What is it? It's a thing. Whatever. It looks kind of just like a generic, like, 2.5D, 3D model adventure game. Um, and I think they had something really special if they had stuck with that original, or the, the like, cutscene art style. But I still really liked it. I liked where it was going. I'd really like to play that one and play more. Uh, aside from that, we also had Dandy Ace, which was really cool. We actually had back-to-back games that were really great. Um, Dandy Ace, I'm assuming, I would guess that's a roguelite? Roguelike? I'm not exactly sure. Run-based thing that has a card system that's really interesting. Um, I thought it looked cool. Um, and it seemed neat. So, uh, there's there's that. I feel like I just barely scratched the surface with it because you can put cards and, and uh, team them, or... Uh, like buff them buff other cards with the cards and stuff like that so i thought that was very cool uh i did like two runs in it i took like a total of like 10 minutes or whatever it was but i actually felt like i was improving and i feel like if i did that over and over and over again you know how far can you go that sort of thing was uh was working for me it has an interesting aesthetic an interesting story idea and i like the gameplay mechanics enough to to pull me through that's the second like rogue like game that we've had in this one that i've been very very excited about um and then darkestville castle um is a very old school point and click adventure game that i liked cool art style um it was pretty funny just an interesting game that was kind of clicking for me in a way that i was like i would like to try and solve these puzzles and, and figure out what's going on here and then uh Let's see, Cake Bash was good, good uh, demo, or a uh, good party game, and thankfully has, um, thankfully has a lot, uh, or has bought, has bought abilities. We also had Chicken Madness, that was a party game as well. Um, I don't understand what Doodle God is, not a fan of it. Last Cube was okay, but I don't really want a puzzle game like that, because it just, I don't, it just, it, it annoys me. Uh, Dungeon Scavenger, that's a big hell no from me. <laughs> like, just no. Uh, Flowing Lights was the other, like, really good one that I enjoyed. Um, that It was a cool demo. It was a great demo. It might be the best, like, demo that I've played. Not the best game. Not the game I'm looking most forward to. But as far as, like, demo and what I'm looking for in this, that that was solid. I was engaged the whole time. Most of these other games, Deleveled, Lost Wing, Back to Belt, Tesla, Force, Mayhem Brawlers, The Spider One, um, Ono, Onoka, Momentous, uh, da, 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 da. those are all games that aren't necessarily bad. They're just not what I want to play. Um, especially Mayhem Brawlers was like a game that's just like, this is exactly why I don't play beat-em-ups. I don't have any interest in this i don't think it's fun or interesting you did only get to play as one of the three characters which i thought was a little disappointing but yeah that was a pass for me and then the curved space i think is what it is whatever the top right corner is that one was just not that one was really hard to get bearings on it was really difficult to see what was going on and then figure it out from there um but most of those other ones were just like nah, i'm cool I, i see what you're doing but it is not for me. So, not the uh, not the strongest set, but just as a reminder, these uh, this list was shuffled ten times, whatever, and this is just the kind of random poll that we got for this section of it. Three, three, four, five games that I was interested in. Five out of seventeen, still not bad. So there you go. Uh, that is part three of Demo Fest. If you're watching this on youtube hey thanks for watching this is what you have to look forward to next week as we wrap up this uh this series uh with these final was that 17 games so look forward to that if you're watching this live on youtube or on twitch live on twitch uh stick around and we're gonna wrap that up now so there you go we're three quarters of the way through one more part to go and we'll have played every demo but two of the Xbox Demo Fest Summer Demo Fest program thing, whatever they're calling it. Uh, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Just to YouTube. Twitch, stick around.